Golf Life, a show focused on your golf lifestyle. Welcome to Golf Life. I'm Colt. This is Mike. Mike, we hope that all of our fans, audience, everyone around the world, especially the healthcare workers, stay safe and healthy during this trying time. You know, Colt, it's a really trying time for folks, but getting out on the golf course is definitely a break. And the industry is adapting in a very good way. We look at the new normal in golf. Well, we have a great show for you this month. We highlight the new TR20 line of golf clubs from Home of Golf. Those things are sweet. Well, I tell you, I love those forged irons and the driver, awesome stuff. We also have top teachers giving you a lesson series, each of them, that's available on Golf Life On Demand. This series is a series you can work through each week and get better at your game. We also go out to Pelican Lakes Golf Club, Beautiful, beautiful golf course in Windsor, Colorado. We ride the fat scooters. It's gonna be a great show. Come on along. Let's head out to Pelican Lakes now. You know, obviously we're in uncharted waters right now. I think the first thing I'd like to start with is, you know, I want everybody to be safe. I want people to stay strong. The one thing that I've been really proud about our management here from our owner, Martin Lynn, to our GM, Jason Kusel, the biggest thing that, that I've been proud of is, you know, we've made the steps to make it safe here. The biggest steps we've made is we've gone to the single rider. Um, so we're really, we're really showing what a single rider is right now. So um, we allow only one person in a cart. You know, the biggest challenge we've had with this is people say, well, I'm, you know, I'm family. And, and I think our deal is we've been very strict on say, hey, um, we want to stay open, our members want to stay open, so we've stuck to the, our guns and saying, hey, it's one person in a cart, and the maintenance department has definitely stripped everything on the golf course. We've turned our cups upside down so you're not digging in the cup, um, removed all sand bottles, so I really am proud of the measures we've taken. Well, for the golf world, I think most people would agree it's been just as unbelievable. What a special game we play, that social distancing, it doesn't really separate us too much from our game. You can go out by yourself, jump on a fat scooter, you can get, take four carts out with four buddies and you're all in your own cart, or maybe you're all on four of your own fat scooters, but you never have to get within six feet is what they've been recommending. I don't think in golf you have to get within 60. So I think the golf community and what Instagram Live and Golf Life, Preston Combs, Jeff Smith, all these phenomenal coaches in the golf industry have been doing to bring golfers a little bit closer to the game, make their games a little bit better while they're at home during this time. And I think it's gonna be a great thing as we get out of this for the golf community. Golf's taking a, taking a giant leap and um, you know, connecting on social media platforms and seeing other people outdoors hitting golf shots or even in their backyard, you know, hit, hitting wiffle balls and whatnot and sharing it on social media is very critical. Um, I could see a lot of people borderline getting uh, depressed if they're just stuck in a house. And this actually helps a, a ton to be outside and, and just, just be with their friends. Even if they're, if they're 10 feet apart, they still can talk to them. So yeah, I think we're doing a good thing. Honda Golf has a rich history of craftsmanship and performance. Their new TR20 line is no exception. Let's take a look at these amazing golf clubs. TR20 is a new line of golf clubs from Honda. TR stands for Tour Release. So they're targeted at the best players in the game players, competitive players, single digit handicappers, but because of the design features, they really fit a fairly wide audience, up to middle handicappers. One of the products that kind of crosses that line is the TR20P iron. It's a, a modern player's distance iron. The P stands for pocket cavity, so it's a forged body, an L-cup forged face with an internal tungsten weight. So that does a number of things. That really adds the game improvement forgiveness. I mean, it is a true player's distance iron. It's built at a blade length that even a tour player would look at. So very traditional, but under the hood, it's got a lot of forgiving qualities and it's strong lofted, which is where the player's distance kind of moniker and category comes from. We also have a TR20 V iron, which is a one piece traditional cavity forging. Between the two of them, there's two great options both traditional feeling, both traditional looking. One of the things that makes Hanma unique is we make our own shafts in our factory in Sakata, Japan. So the head and the shaft are made in the same factory at the same time. So there's some synergy there. We call it holistic design. One of the unique things about the TR20 driver though is the non-rotating hosel technology. So the fact that we make our own shafts, we control the spining process really closely 
and then we orient the spine at six o'clock in the hosel. And it always stays there. The non-rotating hosel technology allows you to adjust loft and lie without the shaft or the head spinning. So no matter what loft or lie setting you put the head in, the shaft is gonna perform the same every single time. We've got a carbon crown, carbon sole. We don't put any other graphics on the top, so we don't over-decorate the club. We want the profile to show through. So it makes for a really beautiful, painted, gorgeous looking driver. On the bottom, we bring some of that carbon out, some of the weave out so you can see it. You know, modern golf equipment has gotten to be more sophisticated. You know, you wanna make sure you're well fit. And this product really has a lot of versatility in that regard. So it's a minimal titanium frame, full carbon body. That makes the driver really weight efficient. So the weight that we save from the crown and the sole, we can put back into the, the weighting system in the bottom. Put the heavy weight in the back, it's a high MOI driver. You move the heavy weight forward, it's a low spin driver. You move the heavy weight into the heel, it's a draw bias driver. So really with one head and multiple lofts, we can give the golfer multiple ball flights or different drivers. We can become a fitting efficient driver and really fit anyone. We firmly believe in fitting. Hanma's really made a commitment to that, not just with facilities like Hanma House where we're in today, but mobile vans. We've got a network of mobile vans traveling across the country so that you can book a fitting but also getting a chance to experience the product in terms of the looks and feel to see what I like. I mean, you can go through that, you can feel pretty confident you're gonna get the right product. When we return, we go out to Superstition Mountain where top teacher Mike Malaska gives us a great lesson on controlling the club face. The first installment in a lesson series you can find on Golf Life On Demand. We also hear from golf course executives on why they love their single rider vehicles for their members and guests. Yeah, I'm Ken Duke, and I've been known for being one of the best drivers of the golf ball on the PGA Tour for the last 10 to 15 years, and now on the PGA Tour Champions. And one big success, I think, is the Survivor Tee. With the center prong technology, the ball sets up, and it gives me that consistent flight when it comes off the club face. The ball rolls out a lot more, and I've gained at least 10 to 15 yards longer off of tee shots. And for me, getting a little bit older, we all need that, right? There's times that you won't spin on the golf ball and sometimes you don't. And off the driver, you do not. You want that ball to really roll out. Now, I've tried the wooden tees on the launch monitor and the survivor tee. And this one comes off at least 1,000 RPMs lower spin. The durability and the way the ball just comes off the tee, it's a great feeling. We all need a little more distance. And this survivor tee with this center prong technology, it's the ticket. Survivor Golf Tee is now available at Walmart and online at walmart.com. Here's Mike Malaska with a preview into a lesson series that you can view right now at Golf Life On Demand. When it comes to the golf swing, the first and most important thing is the club face. And it's how the club face runs into the ball because all we're trying to do is get the club on a certain path with the face in a certain position to make the ball go where you want it to go. I mean, that's really the game. So a club face basically fits in my hand like this. So if I'm looking at a ball on the ground and I want to hit a ball lower than this club's designed to hit it, all I have to do is take some loft off the face. Now, I'm not doing anything with my hips or my shoulders. I just take loft off the face. If I want to add loft, I do this to it. If I want to curve it to the left, curve it to the right. Now it fits in my left hand like this. Same thing, low, high, left, right. If I put both hands, low, high, left, right. Now if I take this club and I were to hold it in my left hand, it's the same thing. I want you to watch what the shaft is going to do. And this is something for you to practice at home. So now I've got the club face in my hand. I say, okay, I want to hit the ball low. Where'd the shaft just go? Lean forward, so that's lower. I want to hit it a little higher. That adds law. I want to curve it left. I want to curve it right. So you see where the shaft is aiming what I, with what I do with my hand. So basically, we're learning how to aim that shaft, which is going to make the ball curve different directions. So all of a sudden, hit a low draw, hit a low fade, hit a high hook, hit a high. So basically, the shaft is showing me 
what I'm doing to the face. So you're getting a, you're getting a feel in your hands for what you're doing with the face. Here's the deal with the, with the club. We haven't talked about grip. We're gonna talk about that next. But first, what I want you to do the first week is you go out, you get your clubs, you set up, same grip every time. And all you're gonna do is now, when you're, when you're hitting these shots, you're no longer holding a club. You're not holding a round grip. See, when I play golf, when I set up to it, I'm holding that club face in my hands. So here's what we're gonna do first week. We're gonna spend time practicing just hitting shots, not big swings. So I'm gonna make this first ball curve to the left. So that ball's curving to the left. I'll make this ball curve to the right. So that one's curving to the right. I'm gonna hit this one low. I'm gonna hit this one as high as I can hit it. So all we're doing, not big full swings, all we're doing is setting up and we're using our hands to control the face to make the ball curve and do different things. I'm not worried about my body, I'm not worried about my stance, all I'm doing is connecting my hands with that face and making the ball curve. This is one of the most important parts of the game and you should learn this first how to control the face with your hands. No face control with your hands, no game. Most people cannot do this. Every tour player I've ever been around, if I have them stand there, they can do anything I want them to do with that club face. So their hands are educated relative to the face. That's why they can do a lot of the things they do with their body and still play. So when you go out there, you gotta, you gotta call the shot and make it curve. Big curves are better. Anything you can do to curve the ball, hit it high, hit it low, so you start to feel a connection with the club face in your hands. That's step number one, week one. Now, let's hear from course pros, GMs, and everyday golfers on why the single rider vehicles are the future of golf. I'm a big fan of the single rider. It kind of promotes that combination of, hey, I'm out walking, where you really feel the single rider is it's quieter, it seems like. You don't have the, the rattling noise of a golf cart. You're in touch with the ground of the golf course. It's kind of that in between a riding and a, a cart, but walking. And I like it a lot. I mean, you can go right up to the greens. You go right up to your ball. The pace of play is better. The fat scooter. Well, I do think it's probably the vehicle of tomorrow. I think golf carts have been around for a long time. But I think if they have the joy of seeing people ride the fat scooter, there's thrill in it. Golf's fun, but the fat scooter, it definitely brings that out in golf. Oh, those things are special, man. I, uh, the, the three settings are awesome. I didn't expect them to, to have that much kick, but it's really nice to be able to kind of ride around, especially on your own, um, all over the course, you know, uh, even up to the fringe. Um, and yeah, have your, have your bag on your back. It's a lot easier than walking, that's for sure. But I think the biggest thing is the wear and tear in a golf course. When you got a golf cart out there, the weight of it, um, the scooters, they're not near as heavy. And they, you know, we're a busy golf course, and there's definitely a lot of traffic. But I like them for the wear and tear. They're not near as hard on a golf course. I, I truly believe that. They're enjoyable, but it's nice to not you know, you're not in a car with somebody else at any point in time. It's your it's your own entity that you're riding by yourself. So I really think that that's a, that's a good thing right now for sure. Well, I think a single rider thing is a youth thing. Um, I think the youth love that. They come out here for that experience. Plus, it's brand new. It's a, it's something us in the golf community haven't seen before until the last few years. And it's really going to make for a lot of new fun uh, experiences out on the golf course. If you want to learn more about the fast scooters and get the original electric scooter for yourself, go to fastscooters.com. As we continue our lesson series that you can find on Golf Life On Demand, Glenn Deck, the director of instruction at Pelican Hill Golf Club, gives us a preview into his lesson series that will help your swing from start to finish. Plus, we show you a great training tool that can help you gain distance, accuracy, and consistency. That's next. Do you want to learn to read greens and understand break more naturally? Get your hands on Levelhead. It's a simple bubble level and ball marker. To use level head, you simply place it on the green. If the bubble goes to the left or the right, you're on a side slope and have a breaking putt. Line up the notches on the level head toward the hole. Then use a line on your golf ball to line up the bubble. You'll be able to read the break, visualize the line, and focus on the speed of your putts. Level head also helps practice reading uphill and downhill putts. Once you know the line, you will be much more confident and improve at reading greens. 
Level Head is lightweight, fits in your bag, and can be used as a ball marker during practice rounds. To get Level Head now, head over to iron-ladgolf.com. Buy two Level Heads and get one free. Get yours at iron-ladgolf.com. Sit tight. You'll be on the back nine with Golf Life in a moment. Let's learn how you can get your golf swing where it needs to be, indoors, with a swing jacket. Well, while we're all social distancing, I decided to take out the swing jacket. If you remember, a few years ago, we did a review on the swing jacket, and I tell you what, what it does indoors is great. It keeps you connected to your swing. It guides you through your whole swing. If you ever feel out of sync, grab the swing jacket. In that review that we did a few years ago, we're gonna show you before and after swings of golfers. Let's go take a look. I'm struggling a lot with alignment and keeping like my body and my arms, you know, all together so that my hips are moving with my arms all at the same time. I tend to get a little long with my arms. I have a trouble getting to the left side through the swing. Well, I'm working on keeping my arms more connected to me. So uh, it definitely helps with that because it doesn't let you get away. Uh, I tend to get a little quick. I tend to come out of it. Uh, sometimes I tend to lay it off a little bit too much. So a lot of flipping with the wrist and ball going left. Just putting the swing jacket on allowed me as a coach to actually have a, a learning experience that I wasn't expecting. You know, so I saw the results myself and how it looked and how it felt and of course where the ball was flying and I was sold. Tell us about what the jacket felt like and what the experience was and what you're feeling now more in your swing that possibly you didn't feel before. When I first put it on, obviously I felt constricted. Okay. Um, but after about five or 10 swings, it was more like everything was in sync. I couldn't get out of sync. The swing jacket basically solidifies exactly where I need to be. You know, it keeps you together. I mean, throughout the history of this game, whenever you deal with an instructor, they're always talking about staying connected, you know, making sure that everything's in sync. We don't have as much power as men, so we kind of feel like we have to do everything we can to hit it further. So we kind of just try to swing really long and hard. Um, this helps you really just stay connected and I think when you hit it after a few times, you'll see that it's going much further than, you know, the longer swings. First, I felt rather hindered. I wasn't able to I felt like get over the ball or stay over the ball. Uh, and when I would do a swing, it felt like I wasn't really going anywhere. But once I got used to it and I kept my head down and I made contact, the ball flight was incredible. It took complete advantage of the loft of the club that I had in my hands. With you, when we put you in the swing jacket, your arms and your body they start to work more together, they get more connected. And the great thing for you is you can keep this smooth rhythm, but now you can pick up the pace of your takeaway. And you can attack the ball with a little bit more confidence into the delivery, because you're not so concerned with getting the golf club in a position where you can actually hit a solid golf shot from. Swing jacket basically keeps my body connected. I mean, you can't finish a swing without turning because the swing jacket is gonna restrict you. So it basically has that secondary thought in your mind, you have to turn through the complete swing. My arms are probably used to doing this or this or this, and, and this keeps everything together. So you, you can't make an app that does that. I mean, it's just, it keeps you where you're supposed to be. It teaches you how to swing and keep things where they're supposed to be. So it just felt great. It's the perfect swing gate. I think if you start it with the swing jacket, you put that on, hit some shots, whether you're a beginner or even a, you know, a touring professional, it helps you get in sync. So I definitely recommend it. The player, can't always be there with the eyes of a coach. So the swing jacket becomes the coach, becomes your guide. And you can actually hit shot after shot after shot and be reasonably certain that you're getting into some positions that are gonna lead you to those lower scores you're looking for. To see the complete videos of each golfer's experience and improvement using the swing jacket, visit myswingjacket.com and get yours today. Glenn Deck, another top 100 teacher in America, gives us a preview into his lesson series that will help your golf swing from start to finish. Check out the rest of the series on Golf Life On Demand. Our goal is to get the ball in the hole in the fewest strokes possible. Now, one of the best ways to make that happen, guys, is in putting. We want to take those four footers and five footers on how to what? Turn them into one stroke, not two strokes. So, get a yardstick here. We've got to first learn how to aim our golf club here, get it perfectly square to our target line. So, learn to set that putter down 
and make sure the putter face is nice and square. I do not want to see the club face open that line or close that line. So remember guys, practice getting the set up here. Take a nice set up. Club face should be nice and square. Take it back and through. And hopefully this yard stick's gonna go nice and straight for us. When it can go straight, we know the club face is nice and square. If the face gets a little bit offline here, we may see the yard stick move away in a different direction. So practice that at home. Practice it in the office. We want you to spend five to 10 minutes every day learning how to what? Set up this club face nice and square first, then get the body here. Hopefully, guys, shoulders and forearms here somewhat parallel, then back and through. Now, once you've mastered that, now the fun begins. Take a golf ball here. Put it out here about, oh, six inches, something like that. Maybe 12 inches back if you're really successful with that. Learn to set the club face down right behind the ball. Make a nice motion back and through. Send the ball down the yardstick. When you can do those two things, guys, you start making a lot more putts. So remember, spend about five to 10 minutes a day learning how to what? Number one, aim the yardstick. Make sure your putter face is square to that yardstick. So once you can aim that putter, then set it up here to a golf ball and roll the ball where? Down the yardstick. See the ball going to the right or left of the yardstick, you know what's going on real quick. A little bit of practice, guys, and those four footers are gonna be easy. Mike Ellis is the senior instructor at the Marriott Golf Academy in Palm Desert, California, and one of the first instructors to implement V1 Sports into his lessons. He gives me a one-on-one -on -one lesson in his studio using the V1 Golf technology when we return. Here's a gift to golfers from Golf Life. As our lives have been changed this past month, we want to give you open access to Golf Life On Demand. Enjoy golf lessons, tours of great courses and resorts, and features on events, golf companies, and much more. Just visit us at golflife.com. Click On Demand and use the code FREEGOLF when you subscribe. Get free access this month at ondemand.golflife.com with code FREEGOLF. We took a trip to the Marriott Golf Academy and met up with golf instructor Mike Ellis, who utilizes the V1 Sports Program to help me with my swing. So I always start off with pre-swing fundamentals first, posture dictating our swing plane, grip influencing the club face, alignment that can influence the path of the golf club. So I already see that you're lined up a little bit open, right. and you do that because you play that fade, right? Mm -hmm which is okay, I'd rather you just get it square, but let's talk about our posture. Posture's great, we'd like to see that angle between our arms and club shaft, shaft angle goes through the belt line. Uh, I looked at your grip, your grip looks really good too. I always try to remind guys that swinging hard to grip pressure can be a problem with, yeah. with home run hitters, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, then the next thing we look at is your alignment. Typically when your feet are open and your shoulders are open, it's gonna cause the path of the golf club to go this way. On a square club face, it's just a yank over here to the left. Yes. And then on a, on a wipe across type of club face, we're gonna curve it over here. So this is where we do the swing plane check. So we know your fundamentals are really good. I'm actually gonna show you how to fix this. We'll take a look at our takeaway. With open, where's the club go? It's not going straight back. No, it is it's not. already going out. Yes, right? it is. All right, it's gonna take you a little while to get this golf club in the shaded area. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Now, without seeing that, you'd never realize that you were doing it. Never. All right, All right so now coming down, well, this is the problem. Yeah, look, at anything gonna stay in the shaded area now. Look, at it's gonna get out and outside oh. the ball. So it's so steep and choppy on the way down that now we have no chance to swing that down the target line. No way. After running through what he saw, he gave me a quick swing tip to help with the steep angle I was taking to the golf ball. Let me show you the drill first, okay? okay. So we're gonna do it without a ball. This is gonna be the ball, okay? This is your little 12 o'clock tee, I right. call that, okay? So you always keep the club face pointing at, the, uh, at your target. Now understand, we're not gonna get you to aim to the right. Aiming to the right is bad. We're gonna close off the stance, and there's a big difference right there, do you see that? Yes. I wanna make it pretty severe here. I'm gonna put this toe down about even with that heel, okay? And then we're gonna close your shoulders off too. You were the opposite, weren't you? You were over yeah, this way, yeah. right? So now we're gonna take a big backswing. We're gonna come down here and hit that tee, but I want you to try to feel like the golf club is going that going, side. Okay. okay. Go ahead. We then were able to run my before and after swings side by side 
through the program to see the changes. Here's the, another beautiful thing about the V1 system. We can do a split screen here and show you before and after. All right, so you'll see here that it's already more rounded, okay? And let's see what we do on the downswing. Don't know how much better it'll be yet. Still a little steep but it won't get outside the shaded area. Wow. Take a look at the difference right there. Wow. That, that's, so that's why we use video. In the end, I was able to visually see what I was doing wrong, and it was all done through the amazing V1 Sports program. Well, Mike, this has been super informative. With V1 Sports, the V1 Sports Academy. Even if you're going out to the golf course, use the V1 game, the app on your phone. You go back to the range. Make sure you're doing what Mike Ellis is telling you to do here at the Marriott Golf Academy. And then I'm super excited about going back to my house, checking my email, Good. and seeing those videos so I can keep working on it at the range. My pleasure. Look, you, you, with your athletic ability, if you can keep working on what we just talked about, I think you're going to see some good results. Well, Mike, appreciate it. Oh, Thank you very pleasure. much. Thanks Thank you for, for having out. us. Thanks for watching Golf Life. Don't forget to visit us at golflife.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. Plus, find Golf Life on social media for daily golf videos and reviews. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you at the 19th hole.